Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the video, I just want to say that if you guys can see to my side here, Steve has grown and he has sprouted a new leaf, which is really exciting. So anyone that's following Steve's journey on my channel, thank you. Also, a lot of you commented, hi Steve, in the past few videos. So Steve wants to say hi back, but he can't because he's a plant. Anyways, <laughs> as you guys can see here, this is... This is Steve's new leaf, which is really exciting because he's growing super tall. He is a bird of paradise plant, if anyone was wondering. Anyways, we're gonna get back into the video, okay? So today I have a really exciting video for you guys because this is another sponsored video and it is sponsored by Placeit. And if you guys have not heard about Placeit, I believe I may have spoke about them maybe once on my channel or twice because I have used them in the past along with a lot of my sponsorships I do on my channel, most of the brands that I sponsor, I've actually used myself prior to ever sponsoring or partnering with them. I deny a lot more sponsorships than I accept. And that's what I like to say on this channel because I am an honest person and it's hard for me to talk positively about brands that I just don't agree with. But besides trying to spill tea on brands that I don't agree with, we're going to talk about a brand that I love, and that is Place It. So guys, in this video, I wanted to focus primarily on creating social media and batch creating social media content for your social media accounts. And if you don't have a social media account for your business yet, I just want to say before we get into this video, you should create one. And this is a sign you should create a social media business account today because that's probably the most important and best thing you could do for your Etsy and print on demand store. Maybe you have a Shopify and print on demand store, any type of business should be having one main social media platform that you should be posting on and two would be a sweet spot but you essentially just at least want one and for this video in specific I'm going to be going over how to create content for an Instagram page with Place It and Place It is honestly one of the best places you can go because you can create video mock-ups you can create picture mock-ups and there's just so many different other professional photos and professional mock-up pictures that you can put your designs on and post it to your social media. And this is what will ultimately create that sense of realness of your brand. And that's essentially what we're doing when we're creating social media accounts. We want to create a real brand, guys. And surprisingly enough, I've seen place it mock-ups on even big name brand stores because everyone uses mock-ups now. It's not just Etsy. It's not just other stores or other Shopify stores that you see on the internet, there are big brands who use mock-ups on a daily basis, especially if you're flipping through colors of t-shirts when you're trying to pick out certain different styles on other websites. I'm not going to name drop here, guys. I'm going to be very vague because, you know, you never know in the YouTube world and those brands finding me and saying something. So we're going to stay away from that. But just so you guys know, I just want to mention here that big brands do this too. And Place It is a really great place to go to give your store that professional feel. So one of the reasons why I say you should start a social media account today is because social media is the one way you can create, first of all, a loyal customer base. And then second of all, you will be having return customers coming back to your website. And maybe those customers may have been cold traffic before, which those types of customers are people who may see your product once and maybe they kind of have interest in it, but they don't want to purchase it. And by you, posting multiple times, you can create warmer customers that will eventually convert and purchase your product by having that social media account and posting on a consistent basis. One of the issues that a lot of print-on-demand businesses face is the fact that they don't own the product physically and they don't have inventory. So how do you even create content for products if you don't own the product? And here's the thing with Place It, it makes it so easy to create content and even batch create content for your social media accounts. And today in this video, we're going to go over a tutorial on how you guys can do that. Some really neat features of Placeit and how to create this 
very, very quickly and easily without that much difficulty when you're creating these posts. We're going to go over in just a moment here on my laptop how to create social media content. And then we're also going to go over how to basically schedule all of this content so you don't have to post on a daily basis. It's already auto scheduled for you and you don't have to worry about it. That's the beauty of the online e-commerce world and batch creating content and scheduling. So we're going to get hop right onto my laptop and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alrighty guys, so now that we have hopped on to my laptop, as you guys can see, we are currently on Placeit and Placeit is just a really great place to go for creating your social media content. I am a huge lover of batching my content and by batching, what I do with that is I create a bulk amount of social media content and then I will schedule it over the next few days and weeks. As you guys have even seen on my YouTube channel, I do this as well. I probably record a month before my videos post. One of the reasons why is just in case I need to take a week off. Maybe I'm sick, maybe anything like that. I have videos that I can post consistently and this method really works for anyone. So not just YouTube, you guys can do this with Instagram, TikTok, if you're on YouTube as well with your business, or maybe you may be selling on Facebook and Facebook but groups only. So there's so many different ways that you can batch create content. And this is essentially what I'm going to show you guys with place it. And it's really easy to do. It's very quick to do. And another thing to mention about place it is they do have these models that you can place your items on, but the really nice part about Placeit is they have templates as well. So the templates you can create quotes with, you can create graphics and other things that you can upload as Instagram reels. You can upload these as video files and download them as video files. So there's just so many really great features to place it and ways that you can use place it. So for example, as you guys can see here, this is just an Instagram story that you can upload your specific mockups on and you can change the different types of text that they offer on Placeit. And as you guys can see, even changing to the Cassidy text, it's really cute that way. And once we create a mockup, we can basically add that in. So I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way to kind of upload your designs and then look at different mockups that you want. So for example, guys, if you guys are creating print on demand items, you can look through their whole catalog of different types of products that you can put your items on. So as you guys can see in apparel, they have hats, they have hoodies, they have leggings, sportswear, sports bras, onesies, tank tops, t-shirts. There's just such a wide variety. And even if you sell digital items on Etsy, this is a really great place to go as well because they have iPad mockups, iPhone mockups, MacBook mockups. And then on top top of that, if you sell prints, if you sell books, maybe business cards that you do digital templates for or stationery, posters, magazines, and they even have their own specific print on demand section, which is a section we want to go to, which they have for really anything under the sun. They have coffee mugs, drinkware, phone cases, phone grips, pillows, t-shirts, travel mugs, wall art. So since I teach mostly about t-shirts and sweatshirts, we're going to go over t-shirts. So guys, the really cool feature about Placeit is if you go under apparel and let's say you click on hoodies. So under hoodies, what you can do is you can upload your specific design and then it will show on all of the mockups. And that's really the easiest way we can batch create our content. So all you have to do is upload your design here. So guys, once you upload your design, it will give you this box and inside the moving lines of the box is essentially where your design is going to go on all of these mockups and you can increase and decrease just by doing this. But generally I try to keep it because every mockup is different the way it's placed on place it and you can adjust later, but this just gives you kind of a overview of all of your designs on these mockups. 
up. So I'm just going to click on crop because I'm happy with the sizing of that. And then as you guys can see, it will load and add in our design. So this design specifically, I just created it for the purpose of this video. And since it is summertime, I thought it would be a really cute and kind of more trendy design to create. But as you guys can see on all of these mockups now, I have all of it uploaded and some of them, the sizing is a little bit off, but it's not too much that I can't upload it as social media content. However, we will kind of go back and maybe edit some of this later. But as you guys can see, these are really cute and there are certain ones that are really nice. So I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to download it because I really love this one. And as you guys can see, when I go to this specific mock-up, what you can do is you can change the hoodie colors. So you can change it to like a lighter pink. You can change it to a bubblegum pink to match your different types of print on demand products that you sell. So if this specific sweatshirt would be for the Gildan 18500. So Gildan 18500, I know has a white color. They have a pink color. That's a light pink. They have a light blue color. That's more, I'd say it looks more of a purpley tint blue, if that makes any sense. They also have a sports gray color and other colors like that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do white. And as you guys can see, this is essentially our mock-up. And all we're going to do is just download it. And it's going to take a moment here. So we're going to wait. But essentially, you're just going to repeat this process, find the specific mock-ups you like, download about five to 10 of those. And then you can either post those as your social media posts, or you can turn them into videos. And I'm going to show you guys with Placeit how you can turn these into videos as well. It's really, really easy to do guys. And it's really this simple. So we're going back to that mock-up template we found earlier. And all I'm going to do is I am going to add in our own image, which is just this pullover hoodie. Then I'm going to increase the size. So as you guys can see where this transparent area is here, that's not going to show in the specific video. So I'm just going to increase our size. So we make sure that our mock-up is filling the complete parameters and dimensions of this area here. And then after that, if we play the video, guys, it's literally that easy. So if you were to create a post and you wanted to post a reel, maybe you wanted to post an Instagram story, we have this in font Maxwell Sans. So we could always put just beachy hoodie. And then where the My Essentials, we could put on sale. Oh. And then I'm going to put this all in caps as well. And then if we replay the video, it's really that easy and it looks super cute and super trendy for our social media. And if, again, you guys have a business social media, this is going to look really professional for you. Now, before we go off of here, I'm just going to go over the different types of videos that you can create with places as well. They create templates and different designs for your social media posts. So if we go to this designs area and go to social media, we can click on all social media. And then again, we have that same template here. They have so many different other templates that you can use. And all you're doing with these templates is adding in those photos, those mock-up images you downloaded before, and then you'll save those. And then we'll go to scheduling our posts and making sure that we're posting every week, maybe twice a week to three times a week. I think this can really make your specific store have a certain aesthetic that you're looking for. Maybe you have an aesthetic already for your Etsy and print on demand store. You can just take that to your social media as well and get people interested in your brand. It's all about building a brand with print on demand and having that long-term success from your brand. And you can create that brand again through social media. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys in this video. So once we have our specific videos and all that we created, I'm going to go back here and download that video we had before, which I think might be deleted. Oh, it's still there. So I'm going to download that specific video. And 
I'm going to take that to our business suite on Facebook. So this is one of the free platforms that you can use and you can auto schedule your posts on both Instagram and Facebook. And I would highly recommend using the meta business suite just to schedule all of your posts and anything else that you want to create with different mockups such as place it. So it will take just a moment here for this download to go through. So I will wait. Okay, guys. So I'm currently in my meta business suite and this suite is really easy. It's a free tool. A lot of people don't realize they have when they create a Facebook page or Instagram page. And this is how you can batch schedule your content as well. So you're not having to go into your social media every day and post. You can just schedule it and not worry about it for the rest of your week or the rest of your month. So one of the easiest ways to use this is you're going to go to your meta business suite and then you're going to click on planner. And what you can easily do is you click on schedule. You can schedule a post, schedule a story, schedule an ad if you're running ads. But generally, let's say I want to post an Instagram post this Wednesday. So I'll click on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I'm filming this on 531. And let's say I want to post it at 6 p.m. So I'm going to save that. I already have that scheduled. And then all we're going to do is we add in our photos, we add in our videos. And really, guys, it's really that easy. So I'm just going to open up the photo we made earlier. And then all you're going to do is put in some hashtags, put in some tags. And a lot of the times with Facebook Business Suite, they do want you to kind of edit the orientation. So I'm going to edit it to the one by one, and then I will apply that. And then I'm just going to put just EG hoodie. and then on sale now. So generally, I like using the little fire symbol. And then that's it, guys. You'll add in your 30 hashtags and you can just schedule a post easily like that. And generally, if you're posting on Facebook or Instagram, usually a few times a week is your sweet spot for gaining followers and gaining traction, especially on your new account. It does take some time to kind of build up your following, but I was able to build a Instagram account for my print on demand business within six months. And I built my Instagram account to over 1,700 followers. So it is possible by just posting consistently and posting mockups like this. That's literally all I did. And you guys can do that too. So definitely get to batch creating your content and don't forget to get place it down below in the links in the description. I will see you guys all in my next video here.